Hey, what up guys? Check this out, this is the comparison between the Sony Smartwatch 2 and the Moto 360 second generation 46mm version. First things first, we're gonna boot the, would boot the watches. So, 3, 2, 1, go. Well, Sony instantly on, already connected, so I can use it already and just do what I want. Motorola is still coming up. Well, it's taking a while, so uh, yeah, this is the Snapdragon 400, 512 megabytes of RAM, waterproof, and Android Marshmallow 6.0. Uh, the newest one, the fresh one that we just got. So, uh, as we see, there are complete. These watches are completely different. Uh, this one is the old one. I've been using it for one and a half year, and I actually really, really like it. Uh, comparing it to this one, I've been wearing it like for three days, and it sucks. Unfortunately, I mean, it, it looks lovely and stuff. Uh, shows you some heart rate activities and, and other some kind of bullshit, but this is nothing that you actually use every day. Uh, the things that I hate about it, uh, because of course the looks are great, uh, you got the heart rate sensor monitor and if somebody uses it it's all great. You've got the Hornwind letter which is also a really really nice piece of letter, cognac. Uh, but the thing is, if you have a smartwatch, for example, I, I got the message before and it contained, for example, the address or whatever. I want to go back and check it out because I want to real quick see what was the address. I didn't remember it. so. I'm just choosing the, the right application, so is the messages, and I've got all the messages over here. I can get to it, I can check it out, whatever, so anytime I want, I can just go back and read all the messages I've got. No, no problem whatsoever. They all still here, number, well, whatever, anything I want, so that's all here. Over here, when I'm gonna get any message, I'm gonna swipe it and it's gone it's no longer here and not and you don't have any way to get to the message that you read no way and i hate it because it's really really a lot of times that i would like to uh, go back to the message and just check it out so that sucks really bad the other thing that sucks really bad is that uh over here when i choose the messages i'm mean, sorry not the message the applications well i just swipe them like a regular in my phone you know, simple, really simple thing. Maybe it doesn't look, you know, as nice and as the as the, the new Motorola, but uh, it's useful and it's practical. Besides that, uh, it works. Over here, when I was uh, when I want to choose uh, some application, I gotta go to the swipe to the left, then find the application. For example, I choose, uh, well, whatever. Uh, I don't know, Moto Body. For example, choose the Moto Body. Uh, I'm, you know, looking on certain stuff, well, and I say, well, I want to go back to the applications and ch choose some other application. So what I can do, I can swipe to the swipe to back, and I got. I'm not going back to the applications. I'm going back to the watch face, which I actually hate because I can. Go, I gotta go again over here and again and again swipe to check for the other application that I was looking for. So that sucks really bad. Uh, the other thing that I don't like about the Moto 360, actually maybe not I don't like, but uh, it's worse than the Sony, is that the battery drain is, uh, well, obvious. Uh, the Sony, I could manage uh, up to four days of usage. This one doesn't go uh, further than three, so uh, that's that's the most in my, actually in my usage, so that's the most you can get. Uh, besides, well, they're not similar at all, they're completely different. This one uh, doesn't have the USB port, yeah, so uh, it's have the station dock, as you can see over here, so you can place it right here, and of course it's not connected to the, uh, to the, <clears throat> let me see, I'm gonna connect it, and so I'm gonna be able to see how it changes. To a uh, watch, so if you're just uh, charging it, it's gonna be like this. So, uh, but it's nothing actually. This is like a gadget, more it's not very useful, but uh, that's how it works. So, comparing these two is actually completely different. 
they are completely different so we cannot compare them equally but the thing is that they're both uh, waterproof uh, of course we've got the leather strap over here so we wouldn't recommend it to get taken to the water uh, what else uh, of course the comparing these two we gotta mention the price because this uh, this watch the Motorola cost 299 and this one I don't remember the price when it came out I bought it for 500 zloty, so it's about uh, 120 bucks so it's more than twice cheaper uh, and after one and a half year actually looks really really nice uh, it doesn't have any scratch whatsoever on the screen and I didn't have any any you know protection or whatever the screen is untouched of course you can see the use of it on the, on the strap but you can actually exchange it anytime so uh, this one I can say it's pretty durable uh, the only uh, bad thing about it is that uh, you have to modify a little bit these uh, these things that hold uh, uh, you know the, the, the telescope with the strap uh, because the strap is really easy to, to, to come off so I went to the uh, to the I don't know what it's called in English whatever the guy that fixes watches and stuff and so he uh, drilled uh, bigger holes over here so uh, the the strap holds better and it doesn't come off uh, and the problem was solved with that over here we've got really nice uh, looking um, actually thing over here because you, you can easily take off the watch uh, just by uh, pressing this down and you can just detach the strap really easily uh, as you can see we got the heart rate monitor sensing right now it's gonna try to probably <laughs> to sense my heart rate and stuff so that's the way it is this one doesn't have the heart rate monitor and it doesn't have the microphone this does have the microphone but the microphone sucks actually and <laughs> I don't think it would be uh, glad to use it I mean too happy to use it because it mostly doesn't work or work where it sucks also uh, it's not good uh, as for me it's my private opinion that I don't like it uh, I love the looks I love the watch faces but the practicality sucks really bad so <clears throat> of course you got the flat tire on the bottom I don't mind it you've got the mm, light sensor over there uh, so yeah that's that's how it looks that's how it works so that's the comparison of these two. If you have any questions, just ask in, uh, in the comments below. Uh, and peace out.